You're here? Welcome. I have not expected to see you so soon. But since you are here, let's talk about some D&D. So, last time we spoke, I've promised to explain you how to start with D&D, Dungeons and Dragons, and other role-playing games. But what are they? What are the role-playing games? The best I can describe it, it's where you, the player, taking a role, start playing the role of some other character. And your dungeon master, your narrator, is a mastermind behind the story, behind the allies and your enemies. If Romeo and Juliet were an RPG game, I think we all know the Romeo and Juliet, right? Right? So in this case, William Shakespeare would be a dungeon master and Romeo and Juliet will be a players that trying to what well, they're trying to be together they're trying to overcome the obstacle that are standing in the way to be with each other it's really hard to explain it for someone that never done it before that never played it I mean what can I say just go and play just go and play or watch it someone playing it the best two places I will send you to watch it and see how it's done properly uh, the Acquisition Incorporated and Critical Role if you still don't get it then I'm sorry I can't help you anyways let's talk D&D D&D and other role-playing games mainly I think for the first few episodes we're gonna focus on Dungeons and Dragons because I like it I'm loving it if I might be honest with you um, I'm running uh, two campaigns right now, and it's great. D&D rekindled my love for role-playing games, because I've been playing for a while. But, 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 let's not digress. What do you need to start your adventure with Dungeons & Dragons? You need to do three things. First off, you need a group of friends and a set of dice. You can always buy a new friend, but you cannot replace your dice. Or, was it the other way around? Anyway. I will admit, the dice look really, really weird. I have awkward shapes and colors. And let's not get into the dice yet. We are gonna get to the mechanics and all the numbers later. For your first game, you probably need just one set, one set of dice. They're really cheap. They are like a couple bucks, euros or other currency, wherever you're watching this. Um, they're really cheap. If you go on eBay, Amazon or other local shop, game shop, they will sell you a set of dice and um, yeah, they're not really hard to come by, uh, but they're really crucial to start uh, playing. The second very important thing that you need to start playing is your narrator, your dungeon master. And last time I've checked, they're not selling them on eBay. So how do I get one? Where do I find one? There are ways to find the Dungeon Master. You can, go, you can go on Facebook or Twitter, start asking people. But the best way, I think, is to DIY it. Just become one. Become Dungeon Master. And well, hey, it's done. Congratulations, you just became a Dungeon Master. But I don't know how to do it. I've never run an adventure before. I've never been a dungeon master before. Well, let me stop you right there, dear madam or sir. Never say never. And if you don't know how to run an adventure, and you've never been a dungeon master before, well, that just leads me to the third thing you have to do. You need to watch this series to the very, very end, because throughout the next episode, I will explain you everything, I will tell you everything, how to become a dungeon master. For now, I would like you to go to the description of the video and follow the link. You need to download two files from the official DND website. They are free of charge and you can print them or just read them as, as a PDFs files and you will find that everything, everything you need to know to create your character, start your adventure and become a dungeon master. And if you need more tips and tricks, you know where to find me. So, have a quick look before you proceed to the next episode on those PDF files. Do not get overwhelmed by the numbers and all the notes, abilities and all the descriptions, weird references. 
uh, it's all good. I will explain everything in next episode where we're gonna create a character and explain the basic mechanics of Dungeons and Dragons. Until then, take care.